In this episode, I want to share the results of an experiment I've wanted to do for a long time. I've wanted to set up a bunch of different mechanical managed systems and measure the input and the output and come up with what is the actual mechanical bandage, not the theoretical, but the actual. And part of the reason I wanted, always wanted to do this is a lot of people have told me different things that I'm a little suspect of. Different rescue people or different people I meet tell me why one system is better than the other and what the actual mechanical advantage is. And I wanted to actually kind of know. And to figure this out a few years ago, I bought these Rock Exotica Enforcers. I didn't find they were very accurate, so I wasn't really happy with the results. And so I haven't really like delved into it too much. But I recently, in order to get the answer, bought these line scales. This is what the How Not To channel uses. This is what they promote. They're awesome. These things work great. Having two of these allowed me to measure the force on the boat and how much I'm pulling at the same time. And that's how I'm getting the actual mechanical advantage. And I set up a bunch of systems and I kind of want to just talk about the results. You can see them here, but just some of my thoughts as I set these up and work through them today. First of all, I just did a straight pull just to test these things out. When I put the two of them together like this on one end, they were the same. When they were spread out, they were off by a little bit actually. And it could be just a small error in these. And to be clear, these had this thing had bigger errors. So there's gonna be some discrepancy a little bit. This isn't hundred percent perfect. But when I pulled with 0.82 kilonewtons, I got an output of 0.84, which is maybe possible because you are kind of like building up like tension in a spring when you're pulling on the rope. But I just think actually this is just honestly discrepancy in those things working at that moment, which is about one to one. It turns out 1.02 to one, but we just can agree there might be some, it could be a pull on the rope or it could just be like some error in, in these things not being perfect. The next thing I did was a transport hitch, just a straight up transport hitch. Here I used the rope to set it up. And when I pulled with 0.75 kilonewtons, I got 0.85 out, which gave me 1.13 to one, which was what I've been saying. I really think the transport hitch is theoretically three to one, but because of all the friction in the system, it's like 1.1, 1 1.2 to one. With a system I set up today with the carabiners and the rope I used, it was 1.13 to one. Next is something I'm excited about. I'm excited about taking the rope out of the system and doing a piggyback system with one of the fancy like high molecular weight polyethylene pieces of webbing because those slide over carabiners better. That This webbing reduces the friction. And so I got the same input. Like the input is just me pulling. And so luckily I got the same input just to compare them. And I got a little bit more output. I got 1.37 to 1. So using little less friction in that webbing of the carabiners as compared to the rope, I did a little bit better with the transport hitch. Next, I kept my transport hitch going with the webbing and I got in the middle and did a vector pull. A lot of people are pushing this as a, as a great technique. You use a transport hitch to get a tight rope, to get tension in the rope, and then pull on that with something. And I got 2.6 to one. I pulled with 0.52, got 1.36 out. I got actually 2.6 to one, which is a pretty cool result. But I do know that once I get past 10, once I'm pulling on the vector pull, once I get past 10 degrees, my results are going to drop. And so this is, you know, I could have kept pulling. I just pulled for a little bit, but if I keep pulling, this would actually get worse. But the peak input and the peak output gave me 2.6 to 1. So that's actually pretty good. Not bad. Then I did a 3 to 1, just a normal 3 to 1. And I got 2.5, 1 to 1. So a little bit less than the transport vector with the webbing. And I've always wondered how much the redirect affects it. When you run, you know, when you're pulling a three to one, you don't want to be in the line of fire of the stuff. And so what if you set up a redirect to stand out of the way? Well, it did affect it. The one thing I noticed was when I was standing in line with a three to one in the bushes, I, it was hard to pull a lot. So I, I only pulled 0.75. With the redirect, I was right where I wanted to be. It was easier to pull with more. So this helped me pull with more force. And the output of the two were the same, actually. Uh, the, the actual, the regular three to one is more efficient. It's 2.5 to one. But with the redirect, it dropped to 2.23 to one. And I want to be really clear about this with the three to one. I'm using really good rope, really good carabiners, like top of the line carabiners. Your results probably won't be this good. If you have subpar, uh, if you're using like a throw bag or like stretchy rope and just mediocre um, pull, I think I said carabiners earlier, but pulleys, the carabiners don't matter, but subpar pulleys, you're going to see like 2.0 to 1, 2.1 to 1. This is high quality stuff getting me to 2.5 to 1. 
And then I threw, said, hey, let's throw a vector pull on top of that. So I did, a, I did a transport hitch and threw a vector pull on top of that. Why don't we tighten it up with a 3 to 1 and then do a vector pull. And I got 2.2 to 1. Which, two, that should be 2.21 to 1. Which is less than I got with the transport hitch. And the reason why is when you pull on a 3 to 1, the progress capture isn't perfect. There's a little bit of slop. So it's hard to get the rope really tight. I could have had somebody mining the pulley and it could have been a little bit tighter, but you get really good progress capture with the transport hitch. So I think the vector pull personally works better with a transport hitch because you capture all of your progress. When you do with a three to one, you, you lose a little bit of your progress. Even if you have somebody minding the Prusik, you're going to lose, a, there's a little bit of slop there. So anyway, we did a vector pull with a three to one and got 2.2 to one, which is worse than just a three to one. Like a three to one gave us 2.5 to one. Vector pulling a, a, a three to one gave us 2.2 to one. So it actually didn't act as well. It probably would have acted well, again, if I had somebody minding the Prusik, and that's a good experiment to do in the future. And then just out of just curiosity, I did the five to one and nine to one. And I want to be really clear, I'm not an advocate for the five to one or nine to one. I think if you're by yourself, if you're with a group of two people, maybe use these. You know, sometimes I go boating with just one other person and I need mechanical advantage. I could see using these. These are good things to have in your back pocket if you're with small groups. But if you have plenty of people pulling, the forces generated on these are pretty big. So with a five to one, I got 3.26 to one uh, real mechanical advantage, which isn't that much more. And with a nine to one, I got 5.53 to one. And I could feel the difference. When I was pulling on that, the reason I only did input 0.34 kilonewtons here, as I was pulling on it, I could hear things happen on the boat. Like I, I was worried I might, I probably wouldn't pop a D-ring, but I might damage a D-ring. And so I didn't want to hurt my boat. So I could, as I was pulling on it, you can just feel the power. And with all the pulleys and all the stuff in the system, it's theoretically nine to one, but actually 5.5 to three to one. But again, that's with my equipment. If you have subpar pulleys, this is going to reduce quite a bit. I've done nine to one experiments before where it's like four to one, just with, with bad stuff. So those are some quick things. I want to be really clear. This isn't scientific. I, I didn't do a bunch of tests here. I did one test of each. So this isn't science. This is just observations based on me going out there and just playing with this stuff. And also a lot of this is based on the equi equipment I'm using. And so if you have different rope, uh, I use a really high quality rope. You're going to get worse results. Again, different uh, uh, pulleys, different pulleys are going to give you worse results, uh, different webbing, whatever you're going to use, different things you're going to get different results. This is just some generalizations about, about this stuff. And, and my takeaway, my general takeaway after setting all these things up today, just one after another and just using them. Oh man, the three to one is just, and this has been my opinion for a while, but the three to one just is nice. It just ratchet. You pull on it, you capture progress. You pull on it, you capture progress. You can keep pulling. Some of these other things like the vector pull, you pull and get some force, but you have to give it back. You can't really capture progress as well. And, also, I really like this transport hitch with the webbing. Uh, I, I, the transport hitch to me is like a, uh, a really cool party trick, kind of a fun thing to do to get a tight line. But with the webbing, you reduce the friction and you can feel a difference to get a tight rope. So I'm going to say if you're going to use a vector pole or want to just do a really simple system that's quick, this transport hitch vector with the webbing is pretty cool. So again, my big takeaways are like day-to-day, most of us are probably using three to ones, but as a cool, like, like little equipment, lightweight pulling, this transport hitch with the uh, vector pull, including the webbing instead of the rope is pretty slick. So those are my thoughts. Please put your opinions, your facts, your comments, your good vibes, your tell me I'm a moron. Put all that in the comments down below. I love the comments. I appreciate it. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.